Oh, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, uh, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, US markets on Monday's trading session, the 2nd of October 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, www.tradesignal.com, to download the latest app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so looking at US equities, impressive close on Friday. We have the Russell breaking higher, the SP breaking higher as well, uh, the Dow, Dow Transport, certainly uh, euphoric or Mr. Trump's tax cuts. And that's exactly where this market is headed. Uh, U.S. equities certainly uh, eventually did actually sell off and, and close. Okay, so U.S. market certainly finishing stellar. So let's look at the actual uh, insight into the uh, the actual uh, stats. Please be sure to visit Tracing, like I said, with, for the latest trades. Okay, so uh, in terms of U.S. markets, let's start with the... Uh, the actual leaders now okay so let's start with drought transport first of all you can see the daily chart certainly pushing to new highs certainly breaking out bulls certainly have this in or under control uh, certainly buying the dips although we did actually test the uh, previous breakout but the bulls certainly came back with a vengeance obviously mr trump's uh, talk or even reference to any tax cuts certainly sends this sends this market into euphoria mode although having said that we have had quite a stellar run so Again, if you are buying into this, you may well be late into the party. So just exercise some caution. That's what I will be doing, first of all. Uh, using this diagonal trend line, there's no real trend line that we can follow at the moment in terms of uh, potential guidance with regards to the uh, Dow. Uh, again, daily chart at the moment did put in a doji on Friday. So again, exercise some caution because I certainly will. Okay, 60-minute uh, chart. Again, bulls certainly seem to be in control here. Uh, the only real potential support and resistance which we have here, just breakout after breakout rallies, high highs and high lows. Uh, the market certainly is holding. Okay, bulls certainly are holding, and we continue to uh, obviously uh, make high highs and high lows until that pattern obviously uh, is negated, um, innocent until proven guilty. Okay, so our bulls certainly have control with regards to the Dow Transportation Index. Now, looking at the Dow Jones, after we look at the Dow Transports, so let's see exactly where we're headed there. Again, quite a strong close. Daily chart at the moment is still in breakout territory, retesting that breakout zone. Okay, volume certainly seems to be good. No real dip in, in volume. If anything, it picked up on Friday. So again, so far so good. Bull certainly buying the uh, Trump speech, okay? Having said that, we have still yet to take out the double top. So again, just exercise caution really from my perspective, but one would certainly err on the side of obviously the bulls there with regards to the market. Let's move on to the S&P now. Let's look at the Russell. Russell really has been a leader. As you can see, Russell 3000 certainly um, pushing higher, certainly very, very impressive on the daily chart. Okay, so new highs, one has to respect that. Uh, in terms of Russell 2000, let's just bring that up for you. Okay, just a 3000 at the moment. There we go, Russell 2000, okay, IWM. Okay, daily chart, as you can see here, very, very bullish. Uh, the move higher was on stronger volume. Bulls certainly have a total control of this so far, okay? So certainly not pushing back on it at all, okay? 60-minute chart, no real signs of any potential pullback yet. Bulls certainly buying this uh, at present, okay? Whether the news is baked in or not, again, that's a different story altogether. But for now, you have to respect that bullish move. S&P 500 certainly has been lagging, as always it lags, but the, the move on Friday certainly was quite impressive. We look at the daily chart, we broke higher, broke over that key resistance at 25.10 and then we close at 25.20. So S&P certainly being bought on the daily chart and again remains bullish. You do have a rising contracting wedge pattern, so again exercise some caution there. Uh, but for now I certainly wouldn't be one to short the uh, S&P unless we get some blatant and we see bearish news. Uh, again, Trump tax cuts certainly seem to be sending the market into euphoria mode. And given the fact that we had a, a powerful short squeeze in European equities, that's exactly uh, what, what will probably ensue with regards to US equities. So uh, it's only the FTSE really that I'm overtly bearish. Okay, so that really is a, an index that I'm looking at. And the NASDAQ as well, because they are the weakest links. Okay, so S&P exercising some short caution as we get to 25.20. Let's see how the market unfolds there. Let's see if the uh, Russell continues its it's move higher another culprit to look at is the usdjpy again it's that reflation trade uh, the daily chart certainly does look exhausted so again exercise some caution 
Uh, again, if you see uh, the USDJPY being exhausted, certainly indicates that uh, the uh, stock market value may well be exhausted as well. Now, we are still stuck on that 75% resistance on the USDJPY chart, given the fact that we have Yellen, given the fact that we have Trump's DAX cuts, okay, so two bullish arguments for the USDJPY to go higher. Uh, again, not the case, okay, so certainly not the case. So let's see how the USDJPY unfolds. We have had a double top at 1.1. 11320 obviously if we continue if you continue to put in a potential a lower high here at 11275 then expect the USA equity market to start to move lower as well again keep an eye on USD JPY and the next potential movement there okay in terms of the Nasdaq now let's quickly look at the Nasdaq let's see where we stand in terms of the Nasdaq at the moment Again, this is an index that I've attempted to open up a short position on. Again, you've got a double top that certainly has held as far as you the rest of the global equities have pushed higher. The Nasdaq certainly has lagged, and that's mainly due to Apple and the concerns regarding that. You are now looking into 75% uh, in the daily charts. So I'm looking for a low high on the daily chart. 60 minute chart is into that pivot, pivot, pivot resistance zone. Okay, so again, exercising resistance, rising, contracting wedge pattern, indicating weakness. So again, Another culprit for me, from my perspective, certainly looking to short. Now, just to clarify, yeah, if you look at the uh, SBDR for tech, let me just bring that up for you. Possibly we could look at um, the uh, biotechs. So, biotechs and the daily is end as well, so you're looking exhausted. Uh, again, not actually making a new higher or pushing higher. You are into resistance here, horizontal resistance, horizontal resistance. So. Again, indicating resistance on the biotechs and therefore looking for weakness on the NASDAQ. Let's just look at the uh, VIX as well whilst we're here. VIX putting the doji candle on uh, on a 60 minute chart and on Friday, although it is plunging on the daily chart. So it has been very impressive the VIX, just constant move lower, constant move lower as US equities certainly are purchased. Let's just quickly look at the rest of the actual sectors here. Apple as well certainly has bounced from now off gap fill. 60 minute chart you are still holding resistance where previous support equals resistance let's see how the uh, shares of apple unfold there you do have an unfilled gap left behind and then uh, that gap certainly has closed at 149 so it'd be interesting to see what happens with regards to apple uh, again if apple pushes higher then you are looking at the rest of the markets pushing higher too semiconductors again look exhausted here now on the daily chart you're back into double top resistance let me just update this chart for you Okay, so again, back into double top resistance, and therefore one of the reasons why I've actually gone short the NASDAQ as well on, on Friday. So I'm certainly looking for, for weakness there. Uh, again, NASDAQ is the weakest link from my perspective. Okay, uh, keep an eye on this key resistance as we've held thus far. So double top on the semis. If semis continue to break higher, then obviously the NASDAQ will break higher as well. So keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, I was looking at SPDR technology. I don't think I've got this here. SBDR tech. Okay, let me quickly bring that up for you as well. Let's give you an insight there as well. That's that double top too. SBDR tech. Okay, here we go. Let's bring that across. Okay, that's not the one. Um, bear with me. There we go, SBDR technology. Okay, just drag that across. Make sure it's here. Looking at the daily chart at the moment, as you can see here, double top. Okay, so double top. Looking for a double top here on SBDR tech. Again, looking for weakness on the NASDAQ and therefore looking for risk aversion. Okay, again, keeping on the VIX, keeping on the USD JPY as well. Well, Chinese data has come in stronger, but we have got concerns with regards to the situation in Spain. And let's see how the market unfolds. And a lot of the bullish news, certainly, one could argue, is already priced in. Okay, I think that's a good summation of U.S. equities. Again, bulls are certainly maintaining the upper hand, but the uh, the actual uh, house of cards could come crashing down at any time. So exercise caution. Keep an eye on Mr. Trump's uh, tax cut talk. Again, a lot of it is hot air. Uh, will, will it pass? I don't think so. Has he passed anything thus far? He hasn't. Okay, he's been criticizing the uh, Puerto Ricans over the weekend, and again, that certainly backfired as well. 
He's been criticizing the NFL team. Again, that's Black Pride as well. His popularity rating certainly is plunging. Does he have any credibility left at all? I don't think so. Uh, will he get anything done? Very, very unlikely. And why is the equity market buying his, uh, his talk? Again, that's a question that you need to certainly ask yourself and ask yourself, are equity valuation justified here with Yellen obviously to maintaining uh, and, and sticking to a hawkish stance. We also have a new Fed, uh, Mr. Walsh, okay. Uh, again, he apparently is more hawkish than Yellen. So again, how can we justify equity at this, at this juncture, at this uh, lofty height? So again, again, it's a question you need to ask yourself and you need to follow your trading plan. Obviously, uh, stop losses are in and uh, emotions are out as uh, the uh, chap, Mr. Oscar, always states. And, and it can't, and it obviously, it can't, that's always true okay that's a statement that's always true just trade trade, trade your time frames trade your own uh, trade setups trade your own uh, trading strategies uh, and again stop losses in emotions out goodbye now